Dave Palumbo here with a couple of quick cooking tips today. I know a lot of you out there always ask me, how do you cook your foods? How do you make your chicken, your fish, your meats, your eggs? And there's, there are different ways of doing things. You can bake, you can fry, you can deep fry, you could broil, you could poach. Well, I'm going to show you how I do mine because I, I believe in, in quick cooking, okay? Uh, when I make my eggs, I usually get a smaller pan here. Uh, and what I do is I take my macadamia nut oil from Species Nutrition. The reason I use macadamia nut oil is because it has a very high smoke point and it, it can be used for cooking. Olive oil, not so much. I probably put about a quarter size of mac oil in there in the pan. And then what I do is I wipe it around my hand because I'm, I'm, an, I'm an Italian. We use our hands for everything, okay? Now this is all greased up. I put it on the, on, I put it on the, the pilot light over here, over my stove. And I put my eggs in there and I cook them. The only, I'm only putting enough oil in there just to lubricate so that the eggs don't stick to the pan. Because if the eggs stick to the pan, you're going to lose them and they're going to get, and you're going to lose half your eggs. We don't want to lose protein. But we also, we don't want to deep fry the eggs. We don't want to pour a ton of oil in here and fry the eggs in that oil because that oil, some of it's going to absorb into the, into the eggs. And that's not going to be what we're looking to do. So we want to put a little bit here just to lubricate and allow us to get the eggs off the pan when they're cooked. Now, a lot of people would think, well, this is a good, we can use this technique to cook chicken, fish, you know, beef, but the problem is this is not enough, because what happens is it get dries out. Eggs only take a couple minutes to cook. So, you know, usually we gotta go to a bigger pan, obviously we're gonna use chicken breast, and we're gonna do fish and stuff like that. I don't like to pour a lot of oil in here, because now that oil is saturating into the meats into the chickens, into the fishes, and it's raising the fat content. And a lot of people don't calculate for that, and then what happens invariably is they're eating too many grams of fat or too many calories for the day. So we don't want that. So what I would like to do, and I developed this not because I was worried about calories, but because I'm worried about quick cleanup. Because if you put oil in here and fry stuff in here, you know, uh, saute it in here, the oil splatters everywhere, and I don't like that. It's a, it gets the whole stove messy. I poach. When you poach, what you do is you pour water in, about an inch of water in here, half to you know an inch of water, depending on how long you're going to be cooking your meats. Then what I do is I, I take either soy sauce, like cucumin soy sauce, I'll put that in here. That's a nice little, you make what's called brine out of it, a salt water. Or I put spices in there. I might use Mrs. Dash. I might use adobo. I like this seasoning. I also love Pete Ciccone's uh, seasonings from 619muscle.com. He's got these amazing, amazing flavored seasonings that are, that are essentially sugar-free and they are no guilt seasonings. And he send, sent me these. I love the honey barbecues. That's one of my favorites. And what I'll basically just do is I'll put it, I'll just pour it right in here. All right? I'll, I'll season all the water and I might even mix some. I might, I might put a little Mrs. Dash in here as well. Once again, you really can't put too much in there. And then I might even put a little, a little adobo in there. And then what I'll do is I'll take like a, a fork or my finger before it's on the hot heat and I'll mix it around. Then I put my chicken, my fish, or my meats in there. Now Johnny's standing right opposite me. You can smell the aroma from just the spices in here. As the water boils down and disappears okay, by evaporation, what you're left with is the cooked meat in there that has absorbed the spices. Just like it would absorb the fat, it absorbs the spices. So when it's done, it's moist, it has a spicy, nice taste depending on what you're seasoning it with, and there's no added fat in it. And guess what? You know how easy it is to clean this up? You go to the sink, you pour it out, you run some water in here, wipe a sponge, and you're done. There's no, there's no cleanup. It makes the cleanup so much easier. You can cook food faster and healthier poaching is my suggested way you do it. The only thing, I don't poach eggs, I use a very fine layer of mac oil. So once again, that's my way of doing it. You guys might have your own way. You might want to bake, you might want to broil. To me, this is the most moisture in the food and the easiest cleanup, and that's what it's all about. Dave Palumbo with another RX Muscle cooking tip.